Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a super fun video. We are breaking down my top Amazon kitchen must-haves. In today's video, I'll be sharing everything that's in my kitchen. This video is really inspired by all of the best of lists out there. Every time I'm looking for something from beauty products to best appliances, I'm always searching for top rated picks backed by a ton of research and that is the type of video that I wanna share with you today. So if you're looking to upgrade your kitchen with top Amazon must-haves, this video is for you. We're just gonna jump right into it. The first item on my list is my Blanco Silgranit sink. Now there's no way that I'm going to get through a top favorites list without discussing all the reasons why I chose this particular item. I've shared my kitchen with you so many times in the past. I have a kitchen makeover video. I also have a video breaking down all of the kitchen countertops and the reason why I chose my Blanco Silgranit undermount sink is because it matched my countertops. I have black titanium granite countertops in my kitchen and I love it for so many reasons. Number one, there's this really beautiful natural pattern and veining that is running throughout the granite. I mean, if you are a fan of granite, you will know that it is virtually indestructible. Although it is a natural stone, it is porous. The reason why I chose this undermount sink is because it matched the countertop. It's black. If you are in the market for a black sink, you will know that there is not a whole lot out there. But as luck would have it, the best types of black sinks are made of seal granite. It is spelled Sil Granite and it consists of 80% quartz sand, which is the strongest component of granite. So this Blanco sink is resistant to scratches, stains, and heat, and you can literally choose from hundreds of shapes, sizes, and colors. This particular sink is in the coal black color, and I also love that it is so easy to clean. Anytime that you source a rectangular sink, you wanna make sure that you look for the inner corners. If the inner corners are curved, it makes it so much easier to clean than if it was 90 degree straight angles. All you need is a little baking soda and sponge to keep it squeaky clean. The next item on my list is my kitchen faucet. This faucet is the Moen Arbor faucet that coordinates with my black sink. It is a single handle gooseneck faucet and I love that it has a pull down handle that sprays as well. I always specify kitchen faucets with a pull down sprayer because it also makes the kitchen sink so easy to clean. Bonus points for the single lever so that you don't have too many little nooks and crannies to clean around. This Insincorator hot water dispenser is a new addition to my kitchen and I am absolutely in love. I have been dreaming of a hot water spigot for so long now. I used to have this really bulky hot water dispenser that was sitting on my countertop and for me, the less appliances, the better. So investing in this super sleek and modern hot water dispenser was a little luxury that I am definitely indulging in. I love that it has hot water on demand and it filters my tap water. This particular dispenser only filters hot water and tap water. So if you wanted a cold water option, that is a definite upgrade. It costs thousands of dollars. And for me, that is not something that was going to make or break this type of dispenser. The next item on my list is my Kosori 5.8 quart air fryer. This is one of those items in the kitchen that I was deliberating on for years. I mean, I had this toaster oven that was sitting on my countertop and the toaster oven did its job. You know, I would bake really little pastries, bake good croissants. I would reheat pizza. I hated the way it reheated pizza. So for me, it was one of those items that look, if I'm gonna get rid of this toaster oven, whatever was going to replace it needed to be so much better and function better than the toaster oven did. Once I got the Kasori air fryer, I never looked back. I can't believe it actually took me so long to bite the bullet. And the air fryer is not even that expensive. It's less than $100. There's always a deal on Amazon and bonus points for it being the best, like hands down, the best reheater of single slice pizzas ever. But what the Kasori air fryer doesn't do is toast up bread. I was in the market for a really small, super sleek, very modern, easy to clean type of toaster. 
After years of using my kitchen and understanding my family's needs, I realized that we never toast more than two pieces of toast at the same time. So I didn't need this like honking huge old toaster that further clutters my countertop. I just wanted something really sleek and really simple. I love this toaster oven because it's stainless steel. It kind of matches all of the other stainless steel appliances that I have in my kitchen. And at the same time, it has a very retro vibe. My home is a mid-century modern home. So I love that it kind of echoes that mid-century sentiment. The next item on my list is not one of the most stylish things in my kitchen, but it is absolutely functional. There is not one day that goes by that I do not use my vegetable steamer. This steamer is meant to cook all types of food. You could steam fish, you could steam rice, you can steam veggies. For me, I eat veggies every single day at every single meal. So this is probably hands down the most used appliance in my kitchen. It's super small. It has double tiers so that you could steam more than one item at a time. But for me, I never really use the additional tiers. So if you understand what your family needs, there are three tier options as well. The next items on the list have to do with cooking and cutlery. I'm going to start with my Caraway cook set and there are so many reasons why I love it. For starters, it is absolutely beautiful. In my black and white kitchen, this cream set really stands out. It's so modern, it's so chic, it's so stylish, but at the forefront of it all, it cooks like a chef's dream. If you've ever cooked with nonstick ceramic before, you'll know exactly what I mean. This 12 piece cookware set comes with a frying pan, a saucepan with lid, a Dutch oven with lid, a saute pan with lid, four modular magnetic pan racks, and a canvas lid holder with hooks. It's naturally non-stick, it has a non-toxic coating, it's free of lead, cadmium, and other toxic materials that can leach into your food, which makes it unsafe for you, your family, and the environment. You can use this cookware set on induction, gas, and electric stovetops, and it's all oven safe for up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. It makes it perfect for baking bread or roast in the oven. Caraway recently debuted their mini duo set, which is a smaller saucepan and a smaller frying pan. This mini duo set is really perfect because sometimes I just want to boil a single egg or fry up a single egg without having to lug out that huge old frying pan. Next on the list is my favorite Japanese knife from Amazon. It is a nine inch slicing knife from Tuo Ring. I actually received this knife as a gift from a white elephant gift exchange one Christmas and it turned out to be the most used knife in my kitchen. It's really sleek, it's really small, it's perfectly ergonomic for my hands and it chops like a dream. I love to invest in Japanese knives because to me, there is no competition. A few years back, we went to Japan on vacation and the Tsukiji fish market is notorious for Matsumoto's cutlery shop. Masamoto is a famous Japanese chef and he is notorious for having the best knives on the market. So we hand carry this like huge knife back home. And next to the two ring slicing knife, these two knives are the ones that I use the most in my kitchen. Unfortunately, you cannot get that Masamoto knife on Amazon, but two ring would be the next best thing. If you cook with ceramic pots and pans, you'll know that you cannot use any metal utensils, tongs, spatulas, or else it'll scrape the ceramic right off. I love this silicone rubber spatula set and I pretty much use it for all types of cooking. If you are living in an Asian household, you will know that kitchen shears are a non-negotiable. We all grew up with kitchen shears in the kitchen. I mean, it's the easiest thing to use to cut any type of meat, vegetables, pretty much anything that you're working with in the kitchen. I have gone through dozens of kitchen shears on Amazon and these ones from Tansung are my absolute favorite. It's not too sharp, it's heavy duty, it's really easy to clean, and best of all, it's so affordable. I have gone through so many other kitchen shears on Amazon with better reviews, but I gotta tell you, there is nothing like the Tansung kitchen shears that cuts through meat, it cuts through poultry, it cuts through Chinese broccoli, which is so important in this household. You might remember from my recent video, the worst interior design mistakes I've ever made, it was sourcing open-ended kitchen handles. 
I hated those open-ended brass kitchen handles. It was a European bar, and the reason why I hated it is because my clothes always caught on them. I have a pile of t-shirts with holes in it, and I just kept wearing them over and over because I knew that if I was cooking in the kitchen, if I was washing dishes, somehow my tops would get caught. It took me a few years, but I finally found the perfect curved close-ended handles to replace the brass ones on Amazon. They're from a brand named Mtech, and if you are in the interior design industry or if you've ever done any home remodeling, you will know that Mtech really has the best door hardware, cabinet hardware hinges on the market. All of the hardware feels really luxurious, it feels really solid, it feels like it's very well made and all at a very affordable price point. The next item on my list is my tech charging station. I was fighting with my husband for a couple of weeks before I finally succumbed to this tech charging station. I didn't want one more thing cluttering my kitchen countertops when he suggested we have a charging station to kind of corral our iPads, our iPhone, the kids' toys, our baby monitors. I mean, there are so many things that had USB ports that needed to be plugged in. After weeks of using it, I realized how functional it was and how it neatly corralled all of our tech items and now I absolutely love it. I chose a black charging station to match our black countertop so it almost virtually disappears. So if you're looking for a charging station to kind of coordinate with your kitchen, always look to your kitchen countertop color and look for something that matches that. This last section is all about those luxury items that have made it into my kitchen. These items are definitely luxury purchases, but if you really break it down to cost per use, like imagine if you use these appliances and items every single day, by now they're like pennies on the dollar. The first item on my list is the Breville Barista Touch Espresso Maker. I gifted this to my husband for Father's Day. He had been doing a ton of research on YouTube to look for the best espresso maker out there according to our needs. I drink lattes and cappuccinos every day. He just drinks straight up espresso. So we were looking for a machine that did all of that, that was easy to handle, really beautiful on the countertop, and also easy to clean. Not only does an appliance have to be super functional to land in my kitchen, it has to be very low maintenance. Really easy to clean, the parts come apart, it's not super labor intensive to put back together. I mean, those are kind of the qualities that I look for in appliances. The next item on my list is my Opal Nugget Ice Machine. Raise your hand if you love to chew ice. If you are a Sonic lover like I am, you will know that Sonic has the best, best, best ice. It's those little nugget ice that you can chew on. I mean, I literally can just chew on that without needing soda at all. I love the Nugget Ice Machine because it's not like regular ice. If you drink any carbonated beverages or any soda in your family, you will know that Nugget Ice actually keeps those beverages carbonated for longer periods of time than a solid piece of ice. Now, why is that? It's because nugget ice is actually aerated through. It's not a solid piece of ice, it's not a solid block of ice, so the carbonation has somewhere to run through. But we did a taste test one day with Coca-Cola. We had a cup of Coke with regular ice in it and a cup with nugget ice. Now, if you did a blindfold test, you can really tell that the nugget ice Coke had more carbonation than those with regular ice. So without me having to oversell it, if you know, you know. The next item on my list is my husband's favorite. It is the Vitamix blender. Now Vitamix is not cheap. I want to say his particular Vitamix blender cost over $500. He makes himself breakfast smoothies every single morning. When I was pregnant, he was making me fruit smoothies every single day. When we had the baby and she started eating solids, we were pureeing food all the time. So for us, a Vitamix blender is really vital to our everyday routine and lifestyle. The last luxury item on my list is my movable island bar cart. I have a ton of kitchen videos on the channel now that talk about a movable island or bar cart. I love that I have this movable island in my kitchen because number one, it's movable. I don't have a ton of space in my kitchen. It's already tight enough as it is. So if you measure the outer perimeter of your kitchen countertops and subtract 36 inches, that's three feet on each side, you will know the remaining space that you have if you wanted to plop an island in in the middle. If you don't have a minimum of three feet for passage all the way around, then you cannot fit an island in your already too cramped kitchen. 
I love this island bar cart because it gives me an extra surface to prep meals, to chop veggies. It's really just another working countertop for us that's kind of in the middle of where the action is. If you're looking to source a movable island or a bar cart to put in the middle of your kitchen, look for some coordinating colors. My kitchen is predominantly black and white. My cabinets are white and I didn't want to have that same white color. So I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit. We went with a black kitchen island with a stainless steel top. I also have other stainless steel items in the kitchen. So I love how that kind of vibes off of each other and really coordinates the entire look. That's it for today's Amazon kitchen roundup. I have so many more little extras that I wanted to share with you. I'll be linking everything featured in this video in the description box below, along with a lot of little extras. I can't leave this video without linking and sharing my favorite chopsticks, my favorite drawer organizers, my favorite plates, bowls, wheat straw plates. Some of these items that land in my kitchen are super stylish, they're very functional, and best of all, they are virtually indestructible. Now that I have a growing family, I'm looking for pieces that have a lot of longevity. I'm looking for pieces that are durable. I have a toddler running around. She's kind of throwing things all over the place. I have a baby who's about to walk very soon. So I always look for items that I can invest in and have a lot of longevity. I loved making this video for you. It was so fun to round up. Let me know if you want my top Amazon must-haves for any other room in the home. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have an Amazon must-have for the kitchen that you absolutely have to share with the viewers. Share this video with anyone you know who's looking to upgrade their kitchen and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.